Dr. Dan Rogers, MD, who has devoted his life to healing people through diet and nutrition. Dr. Rogers was instrumental in the establishment of the Office of Alternative Medicine at the National Institutes for Health here in the United States. Dr. Rogers was recognized as an outstanding American in the 1995-96 Who's Who in America. He has founded a number of hospitals, and the results from his work have received international recognition. Today, you will hear about how fruits and vegetables drastically affect the lives of real people, and about a simple, effective way to add these nutrients to your diet. Now, I proudly introduce to you Dr. Dan Rogers. Just about everybody I know would like to feel better. I'm sure you would, too. How would you like to have maybe a little more energy or increased stamina? Maybe sleep a little better or even think a little clearer. And at the same time, significantly reduce your chances of developing some of those long-term, hard-to-deal-with things, things like heart disease or cancer, diabetes, maybe arthritis. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Rogers. For the last 17 years, I've been helping patients just like this, seriously ill patients, helping them treat themselves through nutrition and lifestyle changes. This treatment is based primarily on juice therapy. My patients drink about 13 glasses of freshly prepared fruit and vegetable juices every day. They also eat three good, healthy, nutritional meals, maybe consume a couple of fruit plates a day. The results? They've been absolutely phenomenal. What I'm going to focus about and tell you about, talk about today is not about curing serious illness. It's not about that. It's about something that's really important for you, not getting there in the first place. I'm going to tell you a few things about why maybe getting fruits and vegetables, yeah, and a good variety in our diets are more important than they've ever been before. Why fruit and vegetable juice is probably the best approach that you can take. I'm going to tell you about the simplest, most convenient way that you can be sure you're getting all that you need, a full spectrum of nutrition in your diet. That's through a whole food source. It's called fruit and vegetable juice caps. It really is the ultimate nutritional strategy. And also, why these caps are so special, why they're so different from any, almost anything else out there in the marketplace today. Is this about a brand new discovery? Absolutely not. But even so, it might change your life. What you'll hear about is finally being proven scientifically. Yes, yeah, logical, it makes common sense. We should have seen it a long time ago. But the benefits can be demonstrated by anyone, regardless of their age or current state of health. Let's start by taking a look at some of the nutritional problems that we here in America are facing today. It's really no secret, and I'm sure all of you know, that our food supply has somewhat worsened over the last 50 years through, uh, among other things, the addition of high sugar and salt prepared foods to our diets, also the use of the fast food industry, more than a billion dollars a year, convenience foods that we use all the time. Yeah, they fill our stomachs. What do they do to nourish our bodies? Very little. Even healthy foods are not as healthy as they used to be. Minerals in our soils have become depleted from such things as over-farming and chemical fertilization. Even a lot of our fresh food is toxic because of the chemical sprays, the additives, and the pesticides that's used in farming today. And at the same time, disease and sickness is increasing at alarming rates, faster than ever before in history. If we look at the war in cancer that started approximately 50 years ago, the rate of Americans getting cancer at that time was about one in every seven people. that They'd have some kind of cancer sometime during their lifetime. Fifty years later, billions of research dollars later, the war on cancer is still going on. The latest figures show that we Americans are getting cancer about one in every three. Think about this. As our foods become more processed, less nutrient-rich, more and more people are becoming sick. Folks, it's no accident. And to make matters worse, 
the high stress, highly toxic environment we live in these days really makes you wonder just how much undernourishment can a person tolerate before succumbing to disease? How much can we miss out on those nutrients before we really get sick? According to a study by the National Center for Health Statistics, only 9% of Americans actually get the minimum amounts of vitamins and minerals that they need. Only 9% get the minimum. Another study, this one by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, reported that 40% of Americans don't eat fruit. Ever. Can you believe that? 40% of the population never takes a bite of fruit. That's hard to believe. And 20% don't ever eat vegetables. I can't believe it. Never eat a vegetable, 20% of our population. How many more of us, that includes you and me, eat just one serving? as compared to the recommended three to five servings of vegetables and two to four servings of fruit that we need every day. Well, it's no wonder to me the disease is out of control, and it's no surprise either. Research has shown the most prevalent diseases, heart disease, cancer, arthritis, diabetes, and many of the other degenerative diseases that are caused by nutritional deficiencies. What's going on here? As we become busier and busier working to improve our lives, and I know that's important to all of us, we've actually come to accept a lower standard of health. We're just too busy to think about it, and that's really costing us a whole lot. The fact is, ladies and gentlemen, friends, the most basic key to optimal health is the presence of vital, life-giving elements in our foods. You know those things that you can't find in fast food burgers or fries? The stuff you can't find in the Stairmaster at the gym? That's the kind of stuff that you find in fruits and vegetables. You know, I told you earlier the basis for my work is the treatment of serious disease through lifestyle changes, things that include diet of fruits and vegetable juices. You may wonder, oh, is juice really that important? You see, when you juice fruits or vegetables, the process of juicing separates the nutritional elements that are bound within the plant from the fiber. Well, what does that do for me? It produces an easy-to-eat, live food. It's simply impossible for a person to take in the vast amounts of material that are needed to get foods in their raw source without juicing. You just can't process all that fiber. It's too much fiber to put through your body. Juicing takes the fiber away. So what are you left with? You're left with a juice that's very vitamin, mineral, enzyme, and phytochemical rich. That way you receive the nutrients you need without having to eat a very large amount. Our patients consume about 20 pounds of fresh food every day. How do they do it? Through juice. Juice is the key. You see, science is just discovering hundreds, if not thousands, of nutrients that are essential to our health. Where are they found? They're only found in plants, fruits and vegetables. They're loaded with them. The term phytochemical simply means chemicals found in plants, and they play an important role in our bodies. They fight against disease, and it's also part of our quest for optimal health. You've probably heard about some of these nutrients. I know you have if you listen to the news at all. Beta-carotene has been in the news a lot. How important is it to fighting and preventing cancer? We've heard it all. Yeah, you can buy beta-carotene supplements in the store. But did you know that beta-carotene is just one of 600 carotenoids that have been discovered up till now that are found in fruits and vegetables? What do you ever hear about the other 599? Or maybe the others that haven't even been discovered yet? You need those? Yeah, you sure do. Some other phytochemicals that have made the news as disease fighters are limonene, found in citrus fruits, allyl sulfides, which are found in garlic, diethylthiones, found in broccoli, and elagic acid, found in grapes. How many other phytochemicals are there in fruits and vegetables that simply haven't been identified by the chemists yet? The bottom line, folks, is that whole food sources are your best bet we're getting all the nutrients that your body needs. How can chemists create a synthetic source of a nutrient that hasn't even been discovered yet? Are synthetic sources even that good? And whole foods, you don't have to worry about it. 
You don't have to identify the nutrients in order to receive their benefits. They're already there. You just get the foods in. But imagine taking your juicer along with you to work. Yeah, uh -huh. I can understand that one. Or maybe packing it in your suitcase when you're going on a trip. Throw in several pounds of fruits and vegetables. Well, we all know that's not an easy way to do it. But we also know that every day we need to have these vital nutrients. Once in a while simply isn't enough. And essentially, that's the idea behind the fruit and vegetable juice caps. They take juicing one step further by dehydrating and encapsulating whole fresh juice. That way anybody can get these vital nutrients anytime they want it. These capsules are whole foods. They've been specially dehydrated. And that's really the secret. This way you can easily get the benefits of whole fruits and vegetables anytime, anywhere. You don't have to have a juicer with you. You don't have to have any special equipment. A little bit ago we talked about the connection between our declining diets and the increasing rates of sickness. The work I've been doing with critically ill patients really brings that idea home. You see, many people who come to see me have no place else to turn. Traditional medicine, the stuff you find everywhere else, has been of little or maybe no help to them. They're facing life and death situations. Many of my patients never give nutrition a second thought until they had nothing else to try. But even then, even at this most critical time in their lives, real nutrition, enough nutrition can make a difference. It really can make the difference between life and death. I'll tell you the story of a patient I had. A young man in his mid-20s had severe MS, multiple sclerosis, which is what uh, we call an immune system disorder that causes a person's body to attack its own nervous system. He came in one day with a cane, really probably should have been in a wheelchair, had a hard time standing up and would fall down. I was afraid he was going to break one of his bones, but he didn't, fortunately, because he was young. He came in literally with half of a grocery bag full of medications. Medications for this, medications for that. We took him into our program. He stayed with us about three weeks. Then he went home, continued the program on his own. To make a long story short, two years later he sends me a picture from the top of Taos. He's skiing, no cane. You see, normally you can't reverse multiple sclerosis. He did. About 10 years ago, a woman in her 50s came to us with pancreas cancer. Normally in advanced cases, it has less than a 5% survival rate. After going through our program, she went home, continued her treatment. Today, she's alive and well. She's a hero in her local hometown, had stories written about her in the newspapers, and just having a real good time. Many people know her, and she's really enjoying what she's done with her life. Another patient I had about 16 years ago, he was a 56-year-old male patient. He had a real serious disease, lung cancer, real fast-moving type. For you scientific types out there, it's called oat cell or small cell carcinoma of the lung. He'd already received radiation treatments for the cancer in Philadelphia. The radiation left severe radiation burns on his chest, went on through to his back. He stayed with us almost three months, then went home and continued the program. Two years later, he was cancer-free. The only remnants of his disease was the residual scarring on his lungs and a little bit of the remnants of uh, radiation burns on his chest and a little bit on the back. Today, he's alive and well. He's a strong supporter of juicing. Another patient I'll tell you about, two young women really worried about their mom, so they came to our center with her. She was in her oh, late 60s, I think. Uh, she had multiple sclerosis, and it was so bad that she was nearly paralyzed, doubled over in a wheelchair, couldn't move without extra help. Her daughters had to actually lift her out of the wheelchair to put her in bed. She stayed with us for about a month and continued the program with the help of her children at home. After about two and a half years, she was up and walking with the help of a cane. Now she handles all of her own affairs. She goes shopping, does everything on her own. Many times we work with patients combining standard treatments, such as chemotherapy, surgery, or radiation, with juicing and other programs. We really have some incredible results. 
One young woman came to us with lymphoma. She was 17. We treated her with juice therapy, along with uh, half-dose chemotherapy for about six months. Then we bumped her up to the full dose of chemo along with the juice program. Now she's 26 years old and she's cancer-free. There are absolutely so many amazing stories I don't have time to tell you all about them. We've just completed an, and published in two peer-reviewed U.S. journals a comprehensive retrospective analysis of 67 melanoma patients that we treated between 1975 and 1990. This study includes all types of melanoma patients with all stages of the disease. Most of them were from the U.S. They were all treated with nutritional therapy, and the results, absolutely outstanding. Melanoma, like most cancers, is divided into four stages. For stage one patients, we've had a 100% survival rate, something I could never say before this study. That's absolutely amazing when compared to the 79% survival rate by traditional treatment. In our stage two patients, we had an 82% survival rate compared to 39% survival with traditional treatment. In stage three patients, we're getting more advanced. We saw 70% survival compared to 41% with traditional treatment. And with stage four, really advanced end stage melanoma patients, we've had a 39% survival rate compared with just 6% of those receiving traditional treatments. Do I believe in the power of juice? You bet I do. I've seen the results time and time again. In many cases, no prescription drug could have had the results that we've had. The people in the cases that I just talked about were deathly ill. The important thing to remember is that we can stop disease before it starts. What's the key? Getting enough nutrition. Of course, there are certainly other factors involved. The toxins in our environment, for example, or the stress that we deal with every day. But good nutrition is the single most important defense that we have. For years, the medical establishment refused to accept the power of nutrition to promote health. But with the scientific evidence pouring in, even the toughest critics are coming around. A study done in Tufts University in human nutrition and aging stated, and I quote, the most sophisticated kinds of scientific research now substantiate the power of nutrients to promote good health, end quote. Even phytochemicals, you know the stuff that you can't find in traditional supplements, are now being recognized by some pretty prestigious groups. Groups like Health and Human Services, the 1989 Surgeon General's Report, the National Cancer Institute, the American Cancer Society, and the American Research Council. What do they say? They all say the same thing. The American diet does not have enough fruits and vegetables. And it's precisely these fruits and vegetables that contain the nutrients called phytochemicals that help protect us from disease. Now we've talked about problems with our diets and about a link between a nutrient deficient diet and disease. We've also talked about the importance of fruits and vegetables and how juices supply the nutrients we need in a concentrated form. Very important. We've touched on the importance of phytochemicals. Some identified, many probably still yet unidentified, which are found in fruits and vegetables. And I've shared a few samples with you about how diet and nutrition can reverse even serious disease. But you may still be wondering, what about me? Huh. I'm feeling fine. I don't have any problems. Well, as I mentioned earlier, many people have just come to accept what? A lower standard of health. They figured if they don't have any disease, well, then they got to be healthy. You know what? That's not necessarily so. What I'm talking about here is not just where we are today, but where we're going. Differences may be... Uh, for you car buffs out there, kind of like driving a V8 on only four cylinders. Does it run? Yeah, it'll run. But does it really perform? Will it do what you want? How long will it run on only four cylinders before it breaks down? Same thing with our bodies. You see, nutrient deficiencies occur gradually, over a period of time, and over several stages. 
Well, the first few stages maybe result in what we could call less than optimal health. No specific symptoms or diseases are measurable until the late stages of deficiency. By then, what's happened? Our quality of life is severely impaired. But you, you never have to get there. What can you do? Take charge now to ensure that you never get there. Everybody wants more energy. People want to feel better about themselves. I don't know anybody that doesn't. By replenishing the basic nutrients that we're missing in our diets, the following things can be achieved. More energy, improved sleep, better digestion, better skin tone and clarity, and some insurance against serious life-threatening diseases. Basically, folks, if staying alive and leading a vital life interests you, then getting the nutritional power that you need, what's that? Getting the nutritional power in your food should interest you as well. I know all of your nutrients from diet alone is tough to do. It's real tough to manage. It's hard to get it all. Most of us simply don't have what? We don't have the time. We're too busy. Remember, According to the U.S. government's 1990 dietary guidelines, we need to take in three to five servings of vegetables and two to four servings of fruit. How often? Each and every day. How many of us do it? Are you? That's where these fruit and vegetable caps come in. Each capsule is equivalent to eating a half a pound of fruits or vegetables. That's about two and a half servings of vegetables or fruits in each and every capsule. It's the simplest, most convenient way to ensure that we're getting complete nutrition. This is the end of side A. Please turn the tape over to hear side B. It's the easiest way to be sure we're getting all of the disease-fighting capabilities that these wonderful fruits and vegetables have to offer. Now you ask me, oh, who could benefit from something like this? Yeah, it's a supplement, but who could benefit from it? Well, you name it. Business people, people on the go, athletes, seniors, children. Children? Yeah, especially children, who many times turn their noses up at the green stuff. You know, I know stories of moms who sometimes open up their vegetable caps or fruit caps and sprinkle them over macaroni and cheese or maybe over their mashed potatoes. What does that do? It's mom's sneaky way of helping to get nutrients into their young people and into their kids that they care so much about. But at the same time, giving them something good that they like to eat. Business people also take the fruit and vegetable juice caps on the road. Maybe uh, they don't have the option of eating like they're supposed to. How many of us can go out to a restaurant and get everything that we need? All the fresh fruits and vegetables might not be an option for them. This way they're not missing out. I'll tell you what, it's sure a lot more convenient than packing broccoli in your suitcase. You can use these fruit and vegetable caps in place of multivitamins. In fact, I really recommend you do just that. Just two fruit juice caps in the morning and two vegetable juice caps in the evening Provide the nutrients equivalent to eating two pounds of fresh produce a day. What? It's so simple. It's so easy. And it's so important. It's just that easy, folks. Two fruit juice caps, two vegetable juice caps, once in the morning, once at night. No problem. You know, I've got to tell you the real truth. 
Before I came across these particular fruit and vegetable caps, I'd never taken supplements or believed in taking supplements before. But these, they really impressed me. It's important to understand that fruit and vegetable juice caps are much more than a multivitamin. They're food, incredibly nutritious, concentrated food. In fact, they're much better than multivitamins for a number of reasons. First and foremost is the reason I avoided taking vitamins. Many of the traditional, well-known supplements are poorly absorbed, and therefore they're not easily used by your body. I'm sure many of you have heard of expensive urine. That's when you take a bunch of nutritional supplements, but your body just doesn't process it well. These so-called nutrients just pass right through your system without feeding you. Secondly is that science is just now discovering the existence of nutrients that have been available in fruits and vegetables all along. You know, remember the 600 carotenoids we were talking about? All the other phytochemicals? How many more essential nutrients have yet to be discovered? The way these products are processed, the way they are grown, and the way they're harvested are all important reasons why these capsules are better than your typical multivitamins. Essentially, fruits are the cleansers, and vegetables are the builders of the body. They both contain things like amino acids, fatty acids, good carbohydrates, organic salts, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and many other nutrients that are needed by our bodies. Juice caps provide this wide spectrum of nutrition because they're made from a full range and an absolutely wide range of fruits and vegetables. The fruit caps are made up from 16 different fruits. Did you hear that? 16 different fruits. The vegetable caps are even better. They contain 18 different vegetables. Each one has their own distinct thing that they add to this fruit and vegetable caps. That means not only are we getting the nutrients we need, but we're getting them how? In a raw food form that our bodies recognize and can easily use. What's more, at least half of these fruits and vegetables are grown at special farms in the U.S. Farms that have nutrient-rich organic soils. What does this do for the products that they produce there? Well, naturally, they're nutritionally superior, and they come from the organic soils, so they're great fruits and vegetables for us to use. We're talking quality, folks. Not only are many of these foods organically grown, but they're vine ripened just before the harvest, picked thin, and then quickly pressed, and they're pressed cold pressed. Important point, they're not heated up. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. This variety and quality of food is tough to find in your local grocery store. And just tell me this, at any particular time of the year, when can you get or where can you get all of these things at one time? It's virtually impossible. Now I'm going to tell you about the different fruits to go into making the fruit caps. Remember, we've got 16 of them. Apples, let's start with those. Excellent fruit, you can get the most of the year. They're loaded with vitamins E and C and the mineral boron. Apples also contain pectin. It's a great digestive enzyme, and it aids in digestion. Also, they have many other beneficial phytochemicals. Grapes, they're loaded with C, B1, potassium, and ellagic acid. These things have been found to kill cancer-causing compounds in the body. Grapefruit, well, we all know grapefruit. It's great for building the immune system, chock full of vitamin C and the B vitamin folate. And who doesn't love a good orange? Oranges that are loaded with B1, folate, and a surprising amount of calcium, not to mention vitamin C, which enhances T cell production and immunity. You know, one quick thing about uh, orange juice and most of the other juices that you buy in a bottle or a carton, they've been pasteurized. I think all of you know that pasteurizing kills some of the life-giving nutrients, such as enzymes. 
That much we know. How about things that are killed that we don't know about? Juice caps are not pasteurized. Did you hear that? Juice caps are not pasteurized. They contain all of the life-giving elements that are naturally found in the fruits and vegetables. Pineapples, absolutely wonderful fruit. Grown in Hawaii, they're essential for athletes. They're loaded with vitamins and minerals. Also, they have bromelain. It helps to support the immune function and break down food for energy. Bromelain is destroyed when pineapple juice is canned. Why? Pasteurization, remember? But its goodness is available to you in the juice capsules, not pasteurized. Lemons and limes, full of vitamin C, bioflavonoids, these things that help support the immune system and also help to rid the body of toxins and aid in wound healing. Cranberries, that helps the genital urinary tract in healing. It's one of the best healers for the genital urinary tract. Cranberries are really hard to find almost any time of the year except maybe around Thanksgiving. But where can we find them all the time, every day of the year? In the fruit capsules. Cherries, another seasonal fruit. It's just loaded with C, B2, potassium, and iron. The C enhances the absorption of the iron, while the potassium and low sodium can help prevent strokes. Watermelon, another absolutely wonderful fruit. Contains C, B1, B6, A, magnesium, potassium, and zinc. The B6 supports hemoglobin production and antibody formation. And the zinc helps prevent prostate enlargement in men. Remember that, guys. Pears. Great digestive aid and a source of so many vitamins and minerals. Pears are rich in the B-complex vitamins that help maintain healthy skin and strengthen your nervous system. Mangoes. I absolutely love a good mango. Hard to find, though, most of the year. Sometimes you can't find them at all. Where are they? They're in the juice capsules. Mangoes are high in the antioxidant vitamins that enhance the immune response. They can also help protect against cancer. Strawberries, mmm, good strawberries. Very high in vitamin C, B2, folate, potassium, and iron. Strawberries also contain elagic acid, which seems capable of neutralizing a carcinogen found in cigarette smoke. Papaya, absolutely wonderful fruit, filled with enzymes, filled with carotenoids, that whole family of nutrients, vitamin C, folate, potassium, and also a special enzyme called papain. This one helps in the digestion of proteins. Tangerines. When's the last time you bought some of these? Very seasonal fruit. Tangerines are also high in C, B1, A, and folate. Tangerines have been found to help ward off viral infections. And some say that two a day can help keep that winter cold away. While you won't find them very often in stores, tangerines are included where? in the fruit capsules. And finally, apricots. They're loaded with A, C, iron, potassium. They're a tremendous source of beta carotene and other carotenoids that support things like healthy skin, good night vision, and a strong immune system. We've just been talking about the fruit capsules, haven't we? Now listen to what's in the vegetable capsules. 18 different things. Let's start with carrots. Everybody loves carrots. They're a rich source of A, C, B6, folate, calcium, iron, potassium, phosphorus, sodium. Just keep on going. Carrots are great. Carrots are an extremely good source of things like beta carotenes and all of the other carotenoids. The National Cancer Institute has indicated that the risk of certain types of cancer can be reduced by as much as 40% through a diet rich in beta carotene. Did you hear that? NCI, part of the National Institutes of Health, said that we can reduce the risk of certain types of cancer by as much as how much? 40% through what? A diet rich in beta carotenes. Next, let's talk about the cruciferous vegetables. Things including broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. 
These things have been recommended by the American Cancer Society for the Cancer Protective Nutrients, especially a phytochemical called indol 3 carbonyl It's been found to emulsify estrogen and to help reduce the chance of breast cancer in women. Ladies, did you hear that? These vegetables are high in so many vitamins and minerals. As an example, A, B complex, C, iron, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. That's just to name a few of them. And where are they found? In the vegetable cats. Who doesn't love a good tomato? Tomatoes, absolutely loaded with C, A, folate, potassium, iron, phosphorus, sulfur, and organic sodium. Tomatoes contain lycopene, an antioxidant carotenoid that has been found to help guard against cardiovascular disease. One study found that an increase in tomato consumption decreases the risk of lung cancer. Cucumbers, filled with so many nutrients, including silicon, which has been shown to help rehabilitate sprain and strain injuries to muscles and tendons and to extend elasticity to skin cells. Cucumbers have also been touted to promote hair and fingernail growth and maybe help prevent hair loss. Get some cucumbers. Spinach. Spinach is so rich in A, C, the B vitamins, magnesium, calcium, and potassium. Spinach helps regularity by promoting intestinal parasolysis. And listen to this. Would you think about it, Mom? It has a high amount of what? Proteins. Vegetable proteins in spinach. And the magnesium in spinach is thought to be helpful in preventing migraine headaches. Wheatgrass. Absolutely wonderful. It's a great source of so many vitamins and minerals, especially things like chlorophyll. Chlorophyll has an antibacterial effect. It's used for such things as head colds, ear, nose, and sinus infections diabetic leg ulcers, and other skin infections. Wheatgrass is pretty hard to find in your store. You've got it covered where? In the vegetable caps. Parsley. It's also high in chlorophyll. It has a lot of other things in it, such as C, A, folate, iron, potassium, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, many other nutrients. Parsley, as we probably all know, is a real healer. It's a purifier that has a wonderful effect on the respiratory tract. Then we have celery. Celery is high in C and organic sodium. Historically, the ancient Greeks relied on celery to relieve headaches. And uh, moms, listen up here. Some say that celery curbs the cravings for sweets. Red beets, a mineral-rich food that helps sustain a healthy liver, gallbladder, blood cells, and the activity of the lymph glands. Beets also contain a rich supply of folate that helps prevent disease and depression. Do you eat beets on a daily basis? You will when you take the vegetable caps. Green bell pepper, a superb source of vitamin C, which enhances iron and calcium absorption. Bell peppers also contain silicon, which can reduce swelling and support skin, hair, and nail growth. Asparagus. It's a great blood purifier that soothes the nervous system and stimulates the kidneys as a diuretic. Onion. It's rich in the phytochemical allic sulfide, which increases immune system activity of the macrophages and the T lymphocytes, which fight and destroy tumor cells. Ginger root. I'm sure a lot of us have heard about ginger root. Although ginger contains less than 5% of the RDA of nutrients, it has long been recognized for its medicinal value. As far back as the ancient Greeks and Romans, ginger has been used for, as a digestive aid. It's also been used for colds, flu, menstrual cramps, arthritis, and it's wonderful in relieving motion sickness and vertigo. I'm sure all of you are familiar with ginger from things like uh, ginger ale. And we always give it when somebody's sick, part of the medicinal effects of it. Lancet, the British medical journal, did a study comparing ginger root to bonine, scopolamine, and dramamine, which are the three most common anti-nausea motion sickness drugs. They found that using 1,200 milligrams of ginger root capsules, which can probably be purchased 
almost anywhere, over the counter in your health food store or maybe even in your supermarket, using 1,200 milligrams of the ginger root capsules gave a much better anti-vertigo, anti-nausea, anti-motion sickness effect than any of the other medications with much less side effects, practically none. And finally, we have garlic. Everybody knows something about garlic. Good in food for sure. It's been shown to have extraordinary benefits. Garlic is effective in fighting numerous bacteria, including such things as salmonella and staph, also strep. It destroys at least 20 pathogenic fungi, including candida albicans. It's an antiparasitic and kills round, pin, tape, and hookworms. Both human and animal studies show garlic's anti-cancer activity, enhanced immune function, and listen to this, its ability to lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels that can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, and strokes. You can see that this variety and quality result in powerful nutrition. Try to find this wonderful combination in Wisconsin or anywhere else in the middle of winter. But what really sets these fruit and vegetable juice capsule products apart from traditional supplements is the process of converting the liquid juice into a powdered juice. The process is called low temperature spray drying. What is it? Low temperature, key element here, low temperature spray drying. And it's an exclusive process that preserves not only the vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals in the juice, but also the naturally occurring enzymes that aid in digestion and other bodily functions. Most, if not all, enzymes are killed if they're processed at high temperatures. And dead enzymes can't get the nutrients to your cells. This exclusive process avoids that, keeping the enzymes intact. Of course, when I have the time, I'll always prefer freshly pressed juice. But how many healthy people have the time? For most people, it takes a life or death situation for them to make the commitment and to take the time. I'm healthy. Now, it really may not be. The fruit and vegetable juice caps are the next best thing to juicing. They provide the goodness of juice in convenient caplets that you can take on the road, to work, to school, to the beach, anywhere you're going to be. The bottom line, folks, is that the means to improve our quality of life and to stop the widespread occurrence of degenerative diseases have always been available. It's the fruits and the vegetables. What are they? They're the key. But even with the evidence that we have today, most people are simply too busy to eat right all of the time. Now you can have the power of fruits and vegetables when? Every day. No hassles. Let me ask you something. What do you think it'll take for you to seriously look at your nutrition? Arthritis? A stroke, cancer, heart disease. Folks, wake up. How long will it take for you to make the critical changes in your diet? It's a choice that you have to make, nobody else. You have to make each and every day of your life. You can either head toward a more vital state of health or you can stay on the path that many people are treading. The path that leads where? Yeah, you know, to disease. It's your choice, and you have the answer right here. Grab it. Do it. Nobody else's choice. Nobody else's decision. The choice is yours. We hope you enjoyed learning about the ultimate nutritional strategy. To order your own fruit and vegetable capsules, please call the number that is listed on your cassette.